Hello everyone, welcome to session 9 of is this session 9? This is session 9. Okay. Session 9 of Masks Web of Intrigue. I am the GM. I run the thing. This is a game, role playing game based in the Masks, a new generation tabletop role playing game system. I there are we have players who, who do playable stuff, so uh, and man make and one particular player whose name starts with A and rhymes with Las the Bayless <laughs> Yes is is the incredible punster and 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 yeah. I don't want to say punisher because I'm wait oh, okay I said it. Never mind. Okay. So anyway, uh let's just we we're we were supposed to be down two players but one of them returned and another player is not showing up right now so we're still down two players but it another different player rather than the two we thought anyway um yeah so why don't let's have our you know the players that are here introduce themselves let's go by the uh, roll 20 order go i'm illis i'm playing dd a midget Gymnast with super strength and a bad attitude. I'm Cam I'm Phantom Mouse. I play Chimera, who's a animal shapeshifter to, to some degree. Not like Beast Boy, but you know he takes on minor characteristics, but all the powers. I'm also super fast and have armor. Hi, I'm Josh. I play Zinc. I'm a strong RoboCop guy that likes to protect the world. The people of the city. Strong robot protagonist. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So, um, so a uh, slight recap for everyone who may have forgotten. Actually, let's find out if anyone has forgotten. Didi and uh, Zinc, you were here last session. So why don't you tell us? where you are in the story currently, or what happened last session, like a gist of sort, from your point of view, I guess. Well, Dee Dee had stuck around after the scene of the big, big fight and was interviewed by Detective Barato, and finally Zinc <laughs> dropped her off and... Dee Dee told Zinc everything, and Zinc didn't say shit. So, <laughs> I, unless you needed more depth, that was basic. No, no, no that's fine. That's fine. And uh, what about Zinc? What did Zinc do that he didn't tell anyone else? I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> I forgot what I was, what, we were, what was happening besides that I dropped DD off. Uh, you <laughs> did? I mean, aren't you, like, taking notes of stuff that you're doing in the campaign as a character? Well, usually I don't forget. Well, you it's just... clearly forgot, so that's really not <laughs> a valid... <laughs> assumption <laughs> I, I mean even if you're not taking notes like I, I did write down a summary you could just like give it could have given it a cursory glance and you would have found out what was happening so Zinc actually um, so the uh, Mr. Kane's people raided the UPP armory uh, killed four of the UPP guards there Zinc helped uh, find a forensic evidence, which is one of the bullets shot by the dead guard when they were not dead, because, you know, zombies aren't real yet, that we know of. Anyway, um, so, yeah, uh, and the bullet uh, apparently has some dried up blood and skin cells, which could lead to the very professional... Um, squad that attacked the armory because they didn't leave any other fingerprint behind so they m and they also sabotaged the uh, cameras so it's very professional and not like a regular gang hooligan squad so yeah that's what you did that 
was very important that you told no one, which makes sense because it's like a <laughs> official police business. That, that, that I can't speak properly. Official police business, but you know, it's something you sh should remember as a player because that's what your character did. I mean, I mean, you don't have to remember what like other characters is like. You, you totally don't have to know what like the exact. Uh, conversation between Dee Dee and Detective Barreto, or the fact that she even had a conversation, but like at least keeping a note on, like a very brief note on what your character is doing is very helpful for, like, you know, keep, keeping up to date. Like, you don't even need to write a lot, like, just write, I helped with the forensics. That would be okay. fine, and that would, like, yeah. Alright, so, okay, uh, we're down two players, unfortunately. Uh, let's see if Janine has posted anything. Nope, nope, she's she's not here. That's great. Is that a gift from Tremor? No, it's not. Okay. No, it's not. Alright, so, uh, we have a love letter for Chimera because he, the player was absent last session. So, this is what happens when a player is absent. They get a love letter from the GM, which makes their life very, very interesting. And dangerous. So, uh, why don't you read us your letter, Chimera? Dear Chimera Donzel, you wait on the slanted roof of the melting pot, waiting for your mother, Soraya Sousa, to finish your shift. You end up waiting for quite some time until she finally finished, finished her shift at 9 p.m. You stealth stealthily follow her home, not drawing attention to yourself as she enters her home. You appear before her, starting startling her. She composes herself, lighting a cigarette to calm her nerves, and asks what you want to want with her. You drop the bomb by showing her your tattoo. She drops her cigarette in shock. Now I roll, and then I read what it does. Mm -hmm. You also mark guilty. <laughs> All right, and now you roll uh, mundane. So let's see what happens. You have uh, wow. You have a minus two. On, okay. That's okay. Okay. You have a 1 in 36 chance of getting... Okay, you didn't get the 10 plus, but on the plus side, you missed. That means you do get uh, potential. Do you level up? Mm, no. Just gain your... On a miss, she breaks down crying and is inconsolable. She avoids looking at you because even the mere sight of her, you causes her more anguish at the son she lost. The fact that you didn't trust her enough to come to her first after her transformation only adds to that. You certainly dropped the ball on that. Mark one condition and take minus one ongoing to any move where you interact with her at the foreseeable future. So yeah, um, so you mark uh, guilty and you also mark a condition of your choice and uh, you have- I'm marking it secure. Ah, cool. Absolutely. Very nice. All right. Where do you, where can you keep notes on your character sheet? Um, notes on your character sheet. You can just you know the, open the character sheet and like write it at the bottom, like you know, at the bottom. Oh duh. <laughs> I'm looking so much at the character sheet that I didn't even think about doing that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let me write down. Roll the four. All right. Cool. That's done. Use a pen on the computer. Okay. Okay, that's... I, yeah. Like, no, no. Don't use a pen. Use a permanent marker on the computer screen. Those work way better. <laughs> Alright. Okay, let me... At least I didn't get grounded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on a 79, you would have gotten grounded, but... <laughs> uh, but that would have been a totally different response. Like... In this one, she's just crying and inconsolable. That one would have been furious and angry. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright. Alright. So, let me uh, remove <laughs> this part. I will... Okay. So, um... Uh, so, something happened. Like, I don't... No, if you remember the uh, end credit scene uh, on the uh, session you were last, which was the week before, uh, about the uh, Falcao Pizzeria explosion. Not early. All right. So it's been an eventful week. Yep. 
So like you can like read up the details on the um on the session journal, but basically like um the end credit scene was very small. It's like there was this um eleven p.m. on Saturday night, which is you know Saturday where you were hung like escaped and the eventful escape and you meeting your mother. Uh, so eleven p.m. at that night uh on the south side, uh the affluent south side, um the Falcao Pizzeria randomly explodes after closing and yeah that's that's basically the scene okay so all right um saturday night chimera meets with soraya souza okay okay and on saturday night you uh when uh, eating dinner um you um uh, Soraya is eating in, you know, um, like she's also eating, but she's turned away from you. And the TV is on, and you get to uh, like the, see the TV news report of uh, La Cucaracha, who was being transported from uh, Sida Chelsea onto Sao Paulo in the afternoon when, you know, you were escaping the warehouse. Um, right outside the city limits on the west, uh, police lost contact with the prison transport van. And uh, half an hour later, when around the time when you have made your escape from the warehouse after the fire started, uh, the police sent a team to uh, check out what's happened, and they found the prison transport van in a ditch. There's no La Cucaracha, and both the guards are dead, with no apparent signs or in of injury. So well, at least you didn't need them like you want to do the other people. <laughs> Wait, what? Remember, we stopped him from eating people. Uh huh. Uh huh. I said at least he didn't eat them like he wanted to do the other people. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's uh, that's uh, you know, always look on the bright side of things. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, at the start, where is the at the start thing? That's not at the start. Where is my at the start? I forgot my at the start things. <sighs> All right. Uh, yes, there you go. Okay. Um, uh, oh, I need to add a team to the pool. So you have a six now that is slowly going up. Oh my gosh. All right. And I don't need to remind the Janus to do stuff because the Janus is no longer here. So that's great. All right. Okay. So uh, we're going to pick up on Sunday uh, morning. So. Mm. So, uh, Zinc, uh, you wake up, I, uh, wait, what time did you say you wake up? I forgot, like, did, do you have a proper wake up time? I don't know. Hmm. Hello? Did the call drop? Zinc. Oh. 8 a.m. Uh. Oh. Alright. I I was I was con how, how did you find a giant? Where is that from even? How? I. What? <laughs> I. I, I, okay, I, okay, like, um, okay, absolutely, totally, I, okay, uh, all right, um, um, let's just say early morning, so, uh, Zinc, uh, you wake up to an alert from the UPP, um, saying that, uh, the, um, uh, it's like, you know, it's like an, um, you know, like a work alert e email of sort. Um, it's not like a call or anything, but it does like trigger your alarm and wakes you up. So, like, uh, it says that there was a, um, what do you call it? The uh, there was a uh, fire at one of the um, restaurants uh, down south, and they would uh, like you to investigate that. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Uh, you also uh, remember that you told um, 
you told Didi that you would uh, take her to um, uh, Gervasio's garage, uh, let's say in the morning. Okay, let mm -hmm. So I go pick Dee Dee up and take her to Gervasio's garage, drop her off, and run to. I mean, not not the... not so fast. This is not a summary. You will have to role play the thing. All right. <laughs> This is not a summary game. That's a different kind. Actually, I don't know if there's any summary in the tabletop role playing game. There is. I think there's some. Uh, that that one thing. I don't remember. I don't remember. It's something. Uh, Sunday morning. Zing gets alert from. What? I suppose, mm -hmm. right, uh, I think it's alert from uh, EPP to investigate a uh, restaurant explosion in the south. Okay, uh, Didi, what do you do in the morning? Do you wake up? I imagine you wake up early because you're a sports person, former sports person. Yeah, and um, since I've got an appointment to go to the garage, I actually probably go to a very early morning uh, church service. That is very interesting because I forgot that you go to do that on Sundays. I actually don't know that you... Well, I do know it happens on Sundays, but it's like a very low priority information in my brain, so I forgot that. I forgot to do, go to church sermon super early. Alright. Okay, cool. Um... So you were there at the sermon. Um, uh, what time is it? Can you like? I don't know what time it happens. Like super early and stuff. What does that mean? Like, can you elaborate? Probably like a six o'clock or six six somewhere between six to six thirty. All right. The pastor's just getting out of bed and <laughs> <laughs> sees DD in there and starts preaching. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it, it was probably like brushing his teeth a little bit around uh, 6 and see, uh, sees DD arrive first. The, the door was open, you know, because the door remains open all the time. <laughs> so yeah, he's like, um, he uh, quickly drops, the, like he quickly um, go, goes back inside. Like you see him brushing, he sees you and he quickly goes back inside to... Uh, you know, wash his mouth, uh, rinse his mouth, and he comes back outside like quickly, and he's like, "Didi, you're around. You're here early." Usually, at least, it's been my experience that those masses are also attended by the very, very people a lot of times. Um, uh, very, very people. Very, very elderly people. At super early, really? I, I had no idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, that like okay, um, okay. So why don't you tell me what's the scene at the church? Because I apparently I have no idea how that works. Um, well, the um, there's probably even some of the people end up showing up early, even earlier, and are probably saying rosaries. And then um, is six o'clock shows up. People who know that they have something to do earlier in the day will show up or the older people who can't sleep anymore and mm -hmm. um, like to go to church. Okay. And then at that point, then the service starts up, you know, I don't know, this is the favela. They probably don't, do they have an organ? They probably have a, they probably have a keyboard with an amp. No, they, <laughs> they, they actually have like a very, did they actually have a very broken down accordion that still works? <laughs> <laughs> so it's not even a keyboard and an app, it's literally an accordion and <laughs> someone mm -hmm. probably nearby plays it and keeps it at the church so they arrive and keep it like play it. They're probably like one of the um I don't know, people who work at the church. Which who are called people who work at the church, I guess.
Alright, since I have no idea what service goes on, I was just gonna completely ignore that part and uh, like you know skip over to the end. So okay, uh, when does that a end around? It it'll probably be just short of an hour. Um, is is my L arm still in a sling? I guess. Uh, your arm is. Uh, what did I say about like your arm thing? Like it would be. Um, yeah, it's in the sling, but like you know, you, you've been told that you can probably uh, remove it in the morning, so you can like remove it anytime, and it, it, it like you don't have the injury anymore. If that's what you're asking. Okay, yeah, that that answers it. Okay, so mm -hmm. um, you know, when I'm done, I'll go back to the go back to the apartment and wait to get picked up by Zinc. All right, cool. Um, oh, by the way, uh, uh, Minami isn't there because um, she sleeps late because she's a bit younger than you. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if you wait for her or something, but yeah, you know, she's probably going to wake up at around 8 or something. Yeah, I probably send her a quick text message just... You know, when I got home, I was saying that I got home safely, a uh, long, annoying interview. Um, I'm sure we'll have more to talk about later on. Cool. All right. So. Uh, okay. So, all right. So, um, Zinc arrives at around that time and uh, well not yeah around like say 7 30 ish and uh, like you know takes you on the way to Gervasio's garage so you can role play that uh, well good morning Zinc I I hoped you slept well, but I don't know that you sleep. So I hope the night passed well for you. Yes, it did. Any cool robot things happened <laughs> over the course of the night? Besides me getting my battery charged? <laughs> um, well, I guess that's an upside. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. I guess you still don't want to tell me anything about your investigation, huh? No. Well, you don't actually know he was talk in an expert investigation. Well, he was at the police station for something. Mm -hmm. So obviously he was involved in an investigation somehow. And we, and I did hear that pretty much it was all hands on deck dealing with the, uh, the raid at the armory. So I'm sure he's involved in it somehow. Kind of matter, but it's justifiably matter, so you know it's okay. Well, okay. Um, at Gervasio's garage, Zinc, I'm gonna try to see if I can find anything about Camara. If I can get any info, do you want me to relay it to you, or should I be like you and not tell you anything? <laughs> yes, I would like to re have you call me when you find him because he's a very important person to us all. I'll, person, animal. I'll let you know what I find out. Unlike some other people, I'm not bitter at all. <laughs> okay. All right, so you actually arrive at Gervasio's garage around, say, 8. You see the new sign, which says Gervasio and Juanita's garage. Yeah, that's new. This might go well. Okay. And uh, you see, like, um, there are the, uh, well, one of the, um, um, well, Zip knows that there is usually um, two guards on the outside, but only one of them is here. They appear to be uh, looking at the uh, their wristwatch. They have wristwatches. Wow, shocking. But anyway. The other one isn't here yet, and, you know, the garage door is open, but it looks like not many people have arrived yet. 
and there's no customer or anything yet because it's a Sunday morning. Okay. What do you do? <laughs> uh, well, I get out of the car because I take it Zinc isn't going to stick around, or is he? Wait, get out of the car? What car? Or well, Zinc said he picking me up. I guess Zinc doesn't have a car though. He just walks me. <laughs> Yes, I mean that's what I assumed. Like none of you said any of you has have any cars. I mean, only okay. I, I'm fine either way. Only I just... Maria's family has a truck, and that's at repairs. <laughs> so, um, okay. Well, no, wait. Uh, right. S- Soraya has a has a car, but I'm not sure if she would. She not let Zink drive that. <laughs> No, I don't think. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think she would let you drive that because it's um, um, Tekka's property, and she probably doesn't want take you to accidentally wreck it and then have it be on her head. Okay. Um, zinc up to you. I'm gonna try not to cause any trouble. You could probably go on your way, or you could hang out. It's up to you. Well, I've got something else to do, so I'll go and. Come back and pick you up later on. All right. Okay, cool. Um, Didi, what do you do as Zinc leaves? I. <sighs> she hates doing this, but she's going to try to act happy and chipper. This is so out of character for Didi, mm-hmm. and I'm. Just in the event, it might make life easier dealing with this guard outside if he thinks that she's just a bouncy little girl instead of okay instead of recognizing her. Okay. <laughs> uh, you have no conditions so, marked, right? No. Or do you? Correct. Right. I do not. Cool. Cool. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Okay, so you are acting very happy and chipper and trying to make the guard think that you are just a completely normal person, right? Who is, yes, who even is, though it hurts to do so. Who is not secretly a super-powered person that got into a serious fight earlier in the week. The guard or me? Or both? <sighs> you. <laughs> yeah, just because it might make things easier, though I don't have a direct fight with these people right now anyway. Mm-hmm. If they recognize me, mm-hmm. it might just make it harder. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to figure out what move this is. It's like it's like a convince or an act role, but I'm trying to figure out what this would be. It's um, probably a mundane role of no, some no, sort. It's a mundane role. I'm just thinking it's one of the basic moves covers it. Hmm. Ah, I don't think I so. suppose Ours. it could be mundane or it could be provoke. No, it's not a provoke. Like it's like no, they're definitely not a provoke. Uh you're not like like you're yeah, uh, Honestly, it's a it's a move in the Janus playbook, but I obviously I don't have that move. Oh, uh, what what move is that? Uh, let's see. The Janus playbook has the um, uh, something like nothing to see here or something like. Oh yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, mild mannered, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like a cool idea. All right, all right. Okay, you can like you don't have the move, but I can use that idea to do stuff. All right, so you know, give me that mundane roll, and we'll see what happens. That is a minus one, so yay, yay! Oh my gosh! <laughs> well, um, y- you mark potential. You you only have three left before your next advancement. Oh my gosh! Unless my accounting is wrong and you, like, yeah. Okay, so let me look at my GM moves because you have done something horribly bad. Let me do stuff. (laughs) Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He probably pulls a gun on me. Well, that would be the easy way out. Can't have that. (laughs) Um, okay, okay. So you uh, go up to the guard. Uh, do you say something like they? 
they look at you but you know they have sun their sunglasses on because their guards who have their sunglasses on and they need to look intimidating so um you can't really tell their expression if they recognize you or not but um what do you do as you walk up to this guard i pretty much just walk up with a bounce of my step and do a little skip and say good morning i'm here to see gervasio is he in uh, he looks at you, he kind of cocks his head a little bit and like, he's right there. He points at Gervasio, you see him, um, getting some, getting, um, like a bunch of tools from the inner room outside around some of the carts, getting ready for another day of work. Okay, thank you very much. I hope you have a good day. He this hurts so much. He gives a nod, <laughs> and then uh, you. Uh, he gives a nod, and he takes out his phone as you're getting inside the garage. All right. What yeah, do do? nothing's going wrong here at all. I'll just go up to Gervasio. Uh huh. Um, mi mi Mr. Gervasio, sir, I'm. I'm Dee Dee. I'm a friend of, um, I, well, I think we have a mutual friend. And um, I, I was wondering, have, have you seen him? Because we, um, he, hmm. What are you doing here? He was, I He's needed like, to he, find he, out. He quietly, like, pulls you uh, behind a car as you're talking and says, like, whispers very loudly, what are you doing here? I have to find Camara. He's not answering his phone, but we know he we rescued him. Well, he rescued himself in addition to us rescuing him and breaking a building. But anyway, um, yeah, we, we need to get a hold of him to make sure everything's okay. And also the police kind of want to talk to him. So I'm supposed to relay that message. Well, well he hasn't showed up here. When, when did he escape? Uh, last night. Last night. It was over in the... Uh, I guess you would call it the warehouse district. Um, yeah, he, he had been taken prisoner, but I, okay. I know he's friends with you, so I was hoping he would contact you, but I guess he didn't. Hmm. Do you know where I could check? I uh, I don't. Uh, hmm. Uh, this is definitely a provoke role, so why don't you give me a provoke and we'll see what happens. Oh, that's another minus one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Against all odds. <laughs> Ooh. Well, there's that one out of 36 chance. <laughs> all right. Okay. So, okay. Uh, what do you, like, what are you trying to do? Like, what are you trying to get them to do? Like, get him to do? Give you some idea of where to find him, right? Yeah, or some way to contact him, at least. Okay. He's like... Uh, okay, look. Um, if, Like, he hasn't come here. He's not, He hasn't met... Any, he's not with any of you, so... I mean, I really can't think of only one place he can go, and... Uh, I mean, I'm stuck behind enemy lines i can't really do anything so i guess like if he's angry at me for telling you this well you know that's on me uh his real name is donzel souza his mother works at the melting pot as the manager soraya souza he is a coward who doesn't show his face to his mother after transfer after his transformation um but i imagine that's probably where he went Okay. All right. Well, thank you. And I'm, I'm sorry if I put you on the spot. Uh, I'm sorry about a lot of things. Just, just, uh, just, just yeah. leave uh, quickly before they think, you know, you did fight them just this Wednesday, right? Yeah, I kind of remember that. So, so um, but if he quickly. comes back here, here, here's, here's my phone number. I scribble it out on a piece of paper real mm -hmm. quick. Um, I, uh, you know, I, yeah. 
No, I don't care if the bad guys figure out my phone number. So here's my phone number. Thank you. Have a good morning and good luck at your shop business. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll head out to leave. Okay. Uh, as you head out, like, as you head out, uh, you see there's, an, like, two cars in front of the building. <laughs> <laughs> Some people see cars. I see, see, I see, uh, I see a football. <laughs> mm -hmm. I agree. Uh, yeah, and, uh, like, um, you know, uh, next to the building there was one guard, and now the other guard is also here. They're kind of looking at you as you leave. What do you do? I just have my annoying bounce in my step. This hurts so much. Mm -hmm. And just skip down the street. Totally. Absolutely. Um, it's kind of hard to skip when you accidentally bounce up into the air 10 feet, though. So, um, tell me how do you deal with that? Because you're going to land on the ground very hard. Well, I'm a, I'm a gymnast, so I, mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I roll in a way that doesn't hurt me. So. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, let me. Uh, why don't you unleash your powers, and we'll see how successful your attempt to roll in a way that doesn't hurt you is. Oh boy, that is exciting. Tell me. Do you mark a condition? You know what? Let's mark angry because mm -hmm. I didn't want to do that clumsy thing. And I've been bottling up anger as I try to play happy-go-lucky little girl. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I'm angry anyway. Okay, cool. Um, You get angry at getting sucker punched by a wind vortex because uh, you realize what's... <laughs> Like what just happened, and uh, from next to the car's uh, steps, you know your familiar face, Diogo. He's he's cool. He's looking cool. And from the other side, and uh, you know about uh, three more guys comes out of the cars with him. What do you do? I'll look at him and say, really? I'm just here checking up on something. I didn't start a fight. I didn't do anything to hurt any of your guys. And you really want to start this here and now. That is, that is, uh, that is actually a very good uh, convincing argument. Is it really? I don't know. Um, uh, why don't you, uh, why don't you, um, hmm. You know what? Yeah, I think this is not a provoke. It is, you are dealing with threats by your words. So why don't you directly engage a threat and let's see how they respond. Because you do have a point here. Wow. All right. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Give me your two options. You know what? And I didn't specify. And actually, this would be one time when I wouldn't bull in a china shop. Just because I, I am I, trying to no, say that I, I'm I mean, not here to be violent. Th this is one time you can't bull in a China shop because you are verbally engaging them, and unless yeah. you have Black Canary scream, you cannot damage <laughs> the environment by speaking. So yeah. Okay. So like, it, like if well, you I wanted mean, to, like even if you, by, even but, if you wanted to, you probably couldn't have done. Oh no, I guess yeah, you do have a point there. Yeah. Suppose, but yeah. it's okay. I don't want to. I'm trying to say that I'm just here checking something. Okay. And I'm not uh, trying to cause trouble. Okay. Okay. So, what, what are you um, I yeah, avoid their blows uh -huh. and let's see. You don't have any allies here, but <laughs> 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 so that option sadly is not available. I might just impress, surprise, or frighten. You know, in other words. I'm just trying to get a point across. I'm just here visiting, and I don't have an active... Don't make me hurt you. You don't have to hurt me. 
what what did you want that caused you uh, that uh, what did you want i'm just checking uh, to see if i can find uh, one someone. of the gu guards asks okay i'm just trying to find someone and who might that be your friend your furry friend yeah he had been kidnapped by the gecko and i knew that he had been here before so i'm trying to follow up on the lead do you know anything where he is not since we sent not since witness day okay so i guess we have nothing else to say to each other you guys have a good day make sure you go to church look kid next time you come here why don't you don't you know sneakily sneak by because that sends the wrong message uh the Di diogo says as he stops his uh wind vortexing you know well, sure we we got into a tussle that happens all the time but to well i figured it was better chance that i mean if i walked up and you immediately recognized who i was that might have caused more trouble so i just took a guess yeah and you did you did we did figure out who you were because he points to the guard it, no um the, the person whose name i don't know and no nobody dubbed because i cannot be asked to find the name right now so it's like he saw right through your um right through your perky kid get get up act okay okay you've got a point maybe i shouldn't try to it maybe look at i'm just saying don't try much the only person don't with the try american accent walking around just. so he, he says look kid all i'm saying is don't try to be something you're not and he is um try, trying to shift your labels by saying that all right so that would be uh don't try to be something you're not um hmm wow okay uh he is uh trying to raise your freak up and your um and your um hmm uh savior down yeah okay freak up savior which down. one up oh which one up mundane freak up Sorry. savior down janine's here but i, I still didn't hear the first one uh freak up savior down Gotcha. I'm Thank you. So sorry. <laughs> Did you drown? I took a cold medicine this more uh, this afternoon, and I fell asleep, and I just woke up. <laughs> 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 oh man, I know that feel. Oh man. I I'm we're glad you're here Janine. Yeah, yeah, we all, um, we, we didn't actually have progress much. Like we di we did wait a little while for you, but we've had like a little bit of a scene and we also had the camera is a uh, love letter. So we're not like too far ahead. So we I'll catch you up after this scene ends. So yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so sorry. Yeah. You know, I'm, it's your I just get up close to the like, something the window. You, you know your health is down so that's like totally understandable all right um so anyway um didi um freak up savior down do you agree i'll accept it and i'll actually look at the guy and i was like you know what that's begrudgingly I, that's actually good advice um i i hope you guys have a good day Okay. And I'll turn around and walk away. <laughs> okay. And uh, n nobody attacks you, so that's um looks like they don't want a repeat of Wednesday. <laughs> well, and they have a stake in the garage now. Because, yeah. So if I were to drop yeah. the, if I were to destroy the garage, that would be worse for them. Yeah, yeah, it would be. It would be. They they're mostly trying to protect their business right now. Uh <laughs> oh. So ironically enough, you pro if they, you probably would have done better if you just went up to them and asked. But yes. 
Uh, Probably, but it was worth a shot. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. And uh, Jarvisio is probably going to get a bit of flack for that. So who knows? You might have made his life more miserable. So yay! Okay. <laughs> so all right. So you end the scene, and we're going to go quickly uh, catch uh, Janine up on what's happened. So Janine, if you're, uh, you can step into roll twenty. That would be neato. All right. So um, uh, so basically, like. You know, everything that happened uh, last session happened. Um, uh, Chimera went to his mother, who works at um, the melting pot, and um, made her heartbroken because, you know, you know, like, he doesn't trust her enough to go to her first after being transformed. So, that's great. <coughs> Yeah, he about teenager stuff. <laughs> yeah, he, he he marks like you know he marks a casual two conditions and has a minus one ongoing when dealing with his mother. Now that's totally normal, right? 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 Yeah, totally. <laughs> okay. Uh, on the other side, uh, we had uh, Zinc get like a UPP um uh report to go check out the pizzeria, the restaurant explosion in the south. In case you've forgotten the name, it is Falcao Pizzeria, and in case you've forgotten the name of Zinc's former human version, that was also, that was Pedro Falcao. So, yeah. Um, that's great. Uh, Didi, where, uh, Zinc accompanied Didi to Gervasio's garage. <laughs> <laughs> Zinc accompanied Didi to Gervasio's garage, which has now have like now new ownership, Gervasio and Juanita's garage with a new sign. Uh, Didi sn snuck inside, uh, hoping to not draw attention to herself by pretending to be a perky young teenager, which failed spectacularly. And a bunch of people arrived, including Diogo, the airbender person, and a bunch of guards. But they really don't actually, want a repeat of Wednesday's fight. So and, they and need to cut you off. Mm -hmm. uh, Janine just stepped away. So oh. you're, you're recapping for no one. Oh, that's great. We're recapping for the people that were here. All right. That, that's brilliant. All right. So uh, we're going we're gonna to skip that up. So, all right. Okay. Uh, Zinc, let's do your scene, then we'll do Chimera. All right. So, uh, you arrive at the, um, the, um, um, the address given in the report, and, uh, as you arrive, you see the burnt out, uh, name, which is, uh, Falcao Pizzeria. Okay. Mm -hmm. Please roll to take a powerful blow. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> well, now, that's awesome. Okay. Totally, totally, totally fine. Uh, you mark potential. And you... You know, it's... You know, it's just a name. No, No big deal. No big deal. Like, it... Bears a resemblance to your former identity's name, but no way it can be the same thing, right? Like, no way. That is way too coincidental for a thing to happen. So, yeah. You, um... Yeah. So, you go... Like, there's a police tape in front of the, um, building. And there's, like, a car. It's not, like, not a UPP. It's the uh, regular police. Uh, regular favela police. So, yeah, they're like, uh, there's a dude outside, and you see a few, like, three or four people inside. Probably forensic, probably a local uh, detective that, not UPP detective, but just local detective. So, yeah. Um, so, as you walk up to the guy in front, he says, Oh, you, you're the cyborg from UPP, right? Alright, um, go right in. Uh, detective... 
somebody give me a name for this detective person who's not UPP but a local police department of sort. All right, that 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 that'll do. Yeah, detective. Uh, uh, de detective Alejandro is uh, waiting for uh, waiting uh, inside. Uh, de sorry, Detective Alejandro is inside uh, checking the scene. So uh, go right in. He uh, holds. He uh, you know lets you uh, go th go by the uh, police tape and stuff. I guess. Right. Wait, they wouldn't have police tape. What are you talking about? Yeah, he he just lets you pass. Yeah, totally. Okay. Let's mm -hmm. see. So the inside is like there was a there was quite a bit of explosion here. So like there's like scorch marks everywhere. So there was like fire that was ongoing for quite a while. Uh yeah. Um the uh, detective like you see the detective and uh, there's a forensic guy on the floor like taking samples. Um there are um there's uh, two more police who's just going around the room like checking the place area like making sure they didn't miss anything or something uh, What do you do? Walk up to the forensic guy and ask him were there any bodies? It's like ah you're you're um zinc, right? I got a call that uh, I should be expecting you Yes Okay, yeah, we we do have a body. Um, it's well, it's not pretty. Uh, he takes you to uh, he takes you back outside, and there was an ambulance to the side, and he uh, points to. I mean, he asks one of the paramedics there to open the door, and he opens it up, and uh, you know, there's a uh, covered um, sheet covered like a white sheet covering him and he you know he lifts it up and it is basically burnt toast except a human <laughs> yeah we we found this guy um thankfully uh, some of his teeth are still inside like not like f melted off or fallen, so hopefully the dental records would get, tell us who he is. But yeah, yep, extra crispy. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. No. So he probably like uh, takes you back inside and shows you the location where they found him. He was. Uh, next to the door when they came in, which was like, you know, burnt to a crisp. There's like complete barn marks. Like there's so much like barn damage inside. Like it was on fire for quite a while. Hmm. Let's see. Ask another question. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Did you find anything that might be important to him? To the people that, or the person that was in here? Anything? Any weapons? Any bags? Uh, no. This, the guy, he didn't have anything on him. Like, I mean, his clothes literally melted off his skin so is his skin so it's like there's nothing really helpful over there uh there's nothing it's all melted a anything he was wearing anything our john doe was wearing is completely melted whoa what what <laughs> you just said anything that the detective was wearing was melted not the detective. John Doe, John Doe. The guy. John, 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 John Doe. I, I guess, yeah, I guess they wouldn't use John Doe. I guess, like the uh, Brazilian equivalent, Portuguese equivalent of John Doe, I guess. Let me look that up. I'm, I am curious. Juan Doe. It's Juan 
crypto. No, no, it's not. <laughs> let, let me go to the place. J's or H's? Placeholder name. All right, let's see. Placeholder name. List of placeholder names by language. There we go. All right. Uh, where is Portuguese? I will find out the proper word for that somehow if it's available on Wikipedia. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not going to look at... Let, oh, okay, there we go. Portuguese. Persons. Uh, okay. Okay. Ha! Huh, interesting. Okay, placeholder names for people are usually Fulano, Sicrano, and Beltrano. That's okay. All right. Yeah. So yeah, like okay, the dub changes it to John Doe. I do not know why I went searching for that because the dub would change. Damn it, me. Uh, okay. Yes, Nick. Yes, the John. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, that's what he says, the detective, whose name is Alejandro, that I was forgetting, so now I'm reminding myself. Alejandro. Okay, like, uh, if you have any, like, you know, uh, I think if you have any, like, specific question for him, he would, um, answer. It's like... Do you not cause the explosion? Uh, we're not certain. We did, we can't find any sort of explosive device. Or even the remains of one yet. I mean, we might find it, but it looks like the epicenter was like he points to um, right next to the um, where you know um, the place where the the serving staff enter behind the serving desk place thing counter the counter yeah yeah the where the little lift up door that you know people the, the servers go behind the counter place. I don't know what that lift up door is called, but that is the um, epicenter of the uh, explosion, it seems like. Okay, if you have, if you find anything out, just get a hold of me and I'll come back and talk to you about it. Can, can I throw something out or a question? Okay. Or zinc. I don't know what type of an analyzer he has, but if he has chemical analyzers, he would might be able to find out right away whether or not there are some sort of chemicals that could have caused the ignition or could have been used for fuel for the fire. An arson investigator would call it an accelerant. But whether I, or not you I, have I, those I can ant- imagine this might be so 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 annoying for Ailis because he knows more about this and his character isn't even on the scene. <laughs> no, but I'm trying to throw it out to see yeah, if I can yeah. help yeah, no, no, Annie yeah, out. Yeah, or totally, if totally. That helps. I don't know. I don't know if he has those type of sensors or not. Mm-hmm. That's that's a call for Annie and uh, Zinc. Well, I mean, I don't know. What what do you do, Zinc? You tell me. Okay, go talk to the analysis guy uh, and the... see if I can find... Mm-hmm. What? What? And see if I can find any cause of the explosion. Okay. Uh, are you, like, talking to the analysis guy or trying to do, like, uh, like uh, you know, assessment of your own? first try to do assessment on my own all right fine that give me an assess roll and we will see what happens all right so assess it's superior right definitely yep yes. so, totally absolutely give me it 
Oot. Wait, did you roll? I. Yeah. Ah, okay, cool. I. Okay. Oh my gosh! All right. Okay. So yeah, you have a uh, uh, one question. You can choose one question from the assess list, and you can take plus one while acting on the answers. So like you know, it, it depends on what you ask, I guess. And say, how can I best end this quickly? Uh, best end what quickly? The investigation of what is um, going on. I, I uh, you and know what? what why, why, explosion? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think like, yeah. Why, why don't you uh, give me like, uh, you know, a general question, and that would probably okay. Uh, what caused the explosion? Um, hmm. Okay, uh, what caused the explosion? Uh, you don't know. There is no sign of uh, any sort of detonation device. There is no apparent, like, fuel source even. It just, like, apparently something exploded at the epicenter that, like, next to the uh, flip door thingy. And and like set the entire place on fire. Basically, it's like what you're getting from your like own assessment around the room. Okay. Let's. Well, I didn't find anything, so hopefully you guys can figure it out or whatever while you're searching through. And if you do, here's my phone number and give me a call. Wait, you know? wait, really? That's that's all the UPP is sending you for to sending you to do? Just give it a cursory glance and just give up? <laughs> Truly, their finest. <laughs> he is. Uh, he is shifting your labels. Uh, he is turning your superior down and your uh, mundane up. Basically, you're useless. That's what he's trying to say. Do you agree or do you accept or do you reject? Mm. I reject. Okay. Uh, then uh, let me see the uh, influence related move. All right. So okay, scroll down. All right. So when you reject someone influence, roll two d six. You have no insecure, so you can just roll two d six. The flat roll. Okay, eight. All right. Uh, on a hit, you successfully hold to yourself and tune them out. Uh, choose one from the reject influence list, which is a uh, scroll down. Uh, there's like mm -hmm. the, when you reject someone's influence, roll three six. Under that, there is a list of three items. You have to choose one from there. Oh. So there's two different ones today. Okay, cancel their influence and take plus one to four against them. Okay. All right. Let me uh, write that down. So this person no longer has influence over you. So NPC Alejandro, Detective Alejandro. Otherwise, I will forget who they are and I will think they're someone normal people. Uh, Okay, uh, uh, does not have influence over, uh, zinc. Very nice. 
Pretty cool. All right, and you take plus one forward against them. Okay, let me add a thingy here. So that's Zinc against Alejandro. Add one. Go. Okay. The restaurant is in the favela. It's on the affluent south side. I was just a little curious because the richer the area, maybe the more likely someone around might have a camera system, which Zinc would probably think of. All right. Okay. So, uh, okay. Uh, what do you do when they uh, tell you that, you know, some use you are? <clears throat> I'm not sure. Any suggestions? Ellis already gave you one. Yeah, but he never said there was. I don't know. Well, you can look to, around like, and ask the like, GM. Okay. Wait, wait. Are you like. I, are, are, wait, are you literally expecting me to describe every single aspect of this world for no. you? No. No. I, b b because I won't. I'm, I'm, I'm not supposed to do that. Yes, I know. <laughs> so I'll go outside, back outside and look around for cameras or anything in the building. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. I'm just saying, what do you say to Detective Alejandro when he tells you that some use you are as you're leaving? Well, then tell him. Well, then I'll just keep checking around for other stuff. For cameras or anything that might show what's going on. What caused the fire explosion, the fire, anything. Okay. Uh, he's, like, he kind of, like, sh like, he kind of shrugs at your... Uh, kind of like in his eyes kind of lame retort and goes back to what he thinks is you know actual police work so yeah okay so you were outside uh, you're looking around for cameras yes all right cool absolutely uh let me think about whether you would act at all need to roll or you'll just normally found no you probably find it yeah yeah okay so uh, across the street there's another uh, there's a um um a uh, hair salon, and on that you see like a camera in front. It is just uh, starting up, so. And you think like this camera is directed like at the door in such a way at like it, it is directing at their own door, but on the edge you think the camera's periphery might catch like a glimpse of like Falcao Pizzeria. So that's a, that's a, you know, it's a cool lead for you. So what do you do? Go check the camera and see if there's anything on it showing anyone moving, coming in it's, or going it, out. It's, at... it's a camera. It's, it's like, you know, it's, it's a camera. So you go up to the camera, the store is open. Um, what do you do? Go the... inside and ask the person if I can see the replay of what what okay what okay, okay okay like one by one just to, don't, don't summarize everything come on man okay just, just go inside the store okay fine there, there is a guy inside whose name i don't need to worry about because he's an npc all right uh, who's not he's not an important npc so i'm not going to bother about it all right so hello um ah uh, i are you, um can I help you? He's super confused because you have no hair. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, you, you're we... completely bald. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, all right, yes. What? Can I see the tape from last night? Uh, um, who are you? And why? I'm part of the UPP looking for any leads on 
what's causing the explosion across the street. Uh, did do you show him like uh, like a badge or something that you have? Yes. All right, cool. Like uh, like yeah, you don't like you have like an of like an ID card of sort that you carry around in your person. So it's like it's not a badge, but it's like you know it's an identification that yes, you are with a project part of the UPP and you should be treated as a uh, officer on duty. So okay. Oh oh yeah, you're you're that you're, right right. You're that cyborg dude by that company, right? Oh okay yes. yeah. Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, that's the yeah, I just came here this morning and saw the whole damage. Um yeah, um sh sure. I didn't think my camera would catch anything, but if you, okay. So he tells you like he takes you like behind the counter and uh you know, uh, accesses the camera's memory, a uh, hard drive because it was last night, so it's like recently stored, so it he still has it uh from on his laptop. So yeah, he uh, shows you. Um, so uh, what time did the explosion happen? Yes, you. Oh, let's see, ten last night. You don't know that. You didn't ask anybody. Yeah. I would okay. like. I would probably imagine like the detective would like. That's probably like part of your data that you got from the UPB that it happened around uh, 11 last night so yeah I think that would be yeah. e easy to tell yeah all right okay so you tell him 11 and he moves forward to 11 um. <laughs> ah, geez. all right so yeah he moves it uh, to 11 p.m. last night uh, and uh, your uh, assumption was accurate you don't see the entirety of the Falcop is there, but you de do see like one corner, like it's not showing the door, but it is showing like one of the windows. And like as he plays it, uh, you see the lights inside. You know, it, there's still light inside. There was light outside. It turns off. There was still light inside. And then after a few seconds, it just explodes outward and then sets on fire. And uh, he kind of fast forward that scene and like about uh, an hour later you have like not an hour like about 10-15 um, minutes later we have uh, you know um, uh, fire trucks arrive because it's near the south side it's easier for the fire trucks to get here because there are no like fire station inside the favela but there are fire stations outside it. So, yeah uh, they arrive and start like you know fire truck cover the um, uh, the uh, direction, like fire trucks now cover up the camera's view of the uh, of the uh, shop, and they start going in quickly. So yeah. Mm, let's see. Well, thank you for your time. You, you would probably rewind it some and get a copy you'd want to see what happened before the light went out see how many people were in there um just throwing so that out there see, what he's saying is that i can only see corner of where it's happening and just in the window yes that is true you only see uh one corner of the shop window like you, you don't yeah see but the you, door. yeah You'd probably go back at least an hour just to make sure, see whether or not other people pass in and out, just to look for the possibility of clues. And and you would take a copy so you could bring it back to you know the office or give it to one of the investigators involved in it. I mean, you are asking like as a part of a police investigator, so you would probably use this from... Okay. Okay, just tell him like, or, or, Yeah, or. probably use this as the part of the case because, you know, if you don't have evidence to support your conclusion, then it's not, you know, it's not a sound case solving, even if you don't solve it. So, yeah. 
So yeah, I think like mm-hmm. you would probably like Zinc would definitely probably ask for a copy, and you you know he he would totally oblige. He's you know he's he's a cool dude who gives like it's a cyborg police. It, it's literally he will totally ask for a selfie with you. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, I asked him, can I get a copy of the tape? Yeah, yeah, to- oh, yeah, um, uh, do you have, like, a thumb drive of sort? Yes, here it is. Do you literally plug your thumb in, in his, like, it's literally a thumb drive and you plug it inside his computer's USB drive? Yes. <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, <laughs> um, wow, I, a literal thumb drive, wow, I... Okay, I, I, uh, okay, I will, um, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's dumbfounded, he's totally dumbfounded, and he's kind of freaking out because it's the coolest thing he's ever seen, like, probably the entire year, so he's very, like, stoked, it's like, okay, yeah, there's, like, there's the whole footage of as much as I have for last night, so, yeah, um, can I get a selfie? Yes. Yes. Um. Uh, um. He he takes a selfie and uh. Yeah. Um. Uh. Yeah. If you have any friends who want a um hairstyle done, you know, let them to know to come here. Stuff. <laughs> okay. Yes, I will. Ne- never miss a chance to advertise your uh, pr- merchandise. Never. <laughs> Especially in the favela. I know. Like. Yeah. Totally. All right, so okay, you have I- item get video evidence. <laughs> All right, this is probably what like item get like that do 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 music would play if this was a video game, but it's not. But so yeah, we have to do it manually. Like, okay, so now what do you do? Take it hmm? to the well. Yeah, take it to the U- back to the UPP office and see if I can find anything else on it. Okay, Ab- absolutely. That might be helpful. Yeah, absolutely. All right, we will uh, let you do that. We will go over to Kamara. Let's see what he's doing right now. Um, actually, uh, should he go to Kamara first or should he go to Mina first? Let's go Kamara first. All right, okay. Uh, let's give um, Janine a little while to catch up on what happened last session and like you know what's happening now all right okay so uh chimera uh you are in your own uh room back again um the room had been used as a sort of storage like the bed was a bit like full of stuff but you uh you know you uh cleaned it up a bit last night and uh you probably wake up um in the morning around like eight or so which is Roughly about the same time when uh, Zinc is down at the south uh, investigating the fire. Uh, what do you do? Well, now that I'm back home again, mm-hmm. I go to church. Okay. I, I, you, you realize I you, make sure to sit behind and on the opposite side so she doesn't have to see me from my mom. Uh, wait, what? I'm sure she goes too, so I'm oh, saying oh, 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 okay, okay. I, I and on the right, opposite right, side, so right. doesn't have to see me or cool. my mom. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Um, gets uh evidence, body, gets footage. Okay. Uh, camera goes charge with survive. Okay, so yeah. Um. Uh, Soraya probably, like, went earlier, so you, when you go there, like, the sermon is about closing, and, uh, you see your mother, like, there, kind of, uh, uh, like, not, like, near the front, kind of, like, like, you know, praying, very, like, uh, like, you know, very reverently, um, uh, how are you keeping, like, are you wearing, like, a trench coat or something again? Right. I don't have a trench coat that fit me, so I'm just 
In my normal clothing. You are walking through the street in your normal clothing as a beast man. Yes? Could I probably fly there? Okay. Uh, hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, if you're flying there, then that's like, you, you still like land on the street, right? In front of the right. church. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. Um, you draw a lot of attention and they start uh, pointing at you and, and whispering to themselves as you walk into the church. Um, uh, Father Ed sees you is, is um, no, while mid-sermon about to end, uh, he is like way surprised and he kind of like loses, like he kind of like stops midway totally like, you know, and like, and then pretends that he has a coughing fit to like hide the fact that he totally is surprised be, like a lot and and c continues like trying to play it cool and continues onwards and quickly uh, wraps up the sermon. Uh, what do you do? I'm waiting around for the next sermon. Okay. Um. Uh. Right. Uh. Uh, the next sermon where starts in, I don't know how much time is between that. So let's say around 15 minutes. I, is that okay, Ellis? I don't know. Maybe. I literally do not know. Well, yeah. when you say the next sermon, I mean, it. you know, a Catholic mass is going to have the homily, which is the main, you know, sermon where the priest just talks about experiences after reading mm -hmm. different scripture passages and everything. The next sermon wouldn't be until the next mass, which would probably be a good hour and a half or so after the, the previous. Okay. Mass. So, oh, all right. All right. Uh, and how many of these happen like around the day, like every hour or so? They're probably spaced out an hour and uh, a half, two hours all right, so let's, part or whatever. And each one takes like an hour. Okay. Okay. So let's just say like, you know, there's one, of these masses at like 6 a.m., which is the one um, uh, DD caught, and there's one at like uh, 8 a.m., which is the one like uh, like uh, the mother uh, Soraya and like sorry 7:30 ish, which is the one uh, Soraya and uh, Zinc later came uh, sorry Chimera later came in uh, near the end of that, and the next one is probably going to be at like um, 10 or so to give people some time to like have breakfast and whatnot before coming in okay so okay so yeah uh you um so as like uh, everyone is going out they are now they all of like as they turn each of them like realizes what the priest was so weirded out about uh and and they kind of like uh, are you like standing next to the door or are you like uh, sitting in one of the side chairs of sort or like one of the back chairs? I mean, as far as away from the ma main doors I can get so for my mom's sake. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, uh, she actually um, asks to uh, talk to uh, Father Ed and Father Ed kind of uh, invites her back in the, in the back room, which... Uh, also happens like which is not the same back room where um the surgery happened it's the other side of the church so it's the other back room the, the, there are two back rooms i guess there are two back doors i guess yes one on each side of the central christ figurine i mean sorry divine mercy figurine the, yes divine mercy statue yeah all right okay so yeah he goes in the back with your mother wow what do you do just sit and wait. Okay. All right. A little while later, uh, uh, he comes out and uh, your mother does not come out. So, yeah, uh, he kind of comes up to you. Uh, um, hello? Hi. I'm just here for the sermon. I'm sorry it caused the scene coming in. Yeah, uh, I did not think you were a Christian. Uh, are you? 
I um what's your name? It, it like everyone's probably calling you Mappenguari. Is that really your name? Are you really a Mappenguari? You, you can call me Chimera. Uh okay, uh But any more would be for my mom to tell you. Alright, okay, uh, I'm trying to figure out how much uh, Soraya would have told him. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, um. I sort of need to re earn my original name. Why don't. Well, um, why don't you tell me what happened? I was t tested on, and when I when after the tests, I came out like this. I tried to help fight the Kukaracha, but I accidentally hurt somebody in the process. I didn't feel comfortable going back to my mom because I didn't know how she'd take the shock, and I figured it'd be better for her to think I was gone. Okay, than, uh, then then why go back to her now after so many weeks? Where I was staying has been taken over by Louis jo Joanita. Okay, there there aren't like there aren't any absence of places to stay. Why why would you go back to your mother after letting her think for two and a half weeks that you are dead? My friend had always been telling me that I owed it to her to let her know. And since he was taken out of the situation, I figured it was the best time to let her know. Wait, taken? Is 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 your friend all right? Is is he? Yes, he's all right. He's just in league with Juanita now. <sighs> all right. Okay. Okay. Well, um, I've talked to your mother, and uh, she's gone out the back. Uh, she did not want to face you. Um. I... She's hurting. She's hurting a lot. You've... It wasn't my intention to hurt her. I was trying to protect her. I, I, I know you had the best... In I know we sometimes have the best intentions, but letting the people who love you and care about you, especially your parents, letting them think you're dead is... Probably one of the worst things you can do to them. You you have to make up for what you did, and it's not going to be easy. I'm willing to put in the effort. Okay. Well, then just give her the space, and I'm sure she will eventually open up to you enough to tell you, like, give you an idea of how how to how to come to terms with her I'll be there I learned my lesson not to be there all right uh well the next mass doesn't start until uh over an hour um what are you gonna do since then I've already caused a scene coming in if it's all right with you I'd like to stay in here so oh, I won't cause a further. Well, yeah, absolutely. The door of the church is always open to anyone. You can stay here as long as you want. Thank you. Mm. Um. Yeah. So yeah, he's just like lets you off, and at that point, like some other people uh come in to like talk to him. So he excuses himself and goes over to the door to uh, talk to them. They're kind of freaked out and they're not entering after seeing you inside mm -hmm. okay so we're gonna leave that scene and we're gonna go over to Mina Mina uh yes yes uh, are you sufficiently awake Janine or the... yes okay like <laughs> like if you're like let let us know if you're feeling like you, if you're not feeling up to it like with, it's totally fine if you like you know miss this session that's no big deal at all. So the only thing's missing from me is my voice. <laughs> I know it sounds so adorable. I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah. 
Uh, all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I know it must hurt a lot, but yes. All right. Okay. Um. Uh. Mina, you um. Uh. Wake up. Uh. In the morning. Late. You, yeah, late. You don't have a hangover because you don't. You didn't. You didn't drink anything. Uh You do have a, a little bit of money that you uh, gambled last night and won by gambling. Uh before you were eventually um. <laughs> told to stop because you were winning a bit too much to be like you know normal <laughs> mm -hmm. yep and yeah. you probably managed to convince them that you weren't counting cards because if you admit to that they will kick you out and ban you forever from that from Narnia mm. Yes. So yeah. And I, I think I I purposely lose yeah. small money yeah. in oh. rat racing. Mm -hmm. Wait, one of the reason I'm, I have lost my voice because I've been shouting while the rat was racing. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. The, the, the rat racing. It's it's obvious. Okay, yeah. Ab, yep. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, in character justification for the out of character voice losing. Yes, I love it. Yes, it was a fun night. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, you have enough money to go like buy a new phone and you know do like your your, your phone is still broken. You don't like you have managed to save the uh, sim and the memory, but uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, it's broken. Okay. So uh. What do you do? Uh, first things first, I probably bought a new phone because I would need it to contact my uh, um, friends. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, you you can you, you totally buy a new phone. No no big deal there. Yeah. Okay, you set it up and uh, did anybody uh, send uh, Mina any message while her phone was broken last night? I don't think so, right? Oh. No. They don't I don't think so. Right yeah, okay. No. Yeah, so yeah, you have no new messages, not none whatsoever. Uh what what do you do now that you have a phone? Yeah. It's like around um I, I'd guess nine, nine thirty maybe? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I check up the news for what happened last night. Okay, so all right, so that's interesting. There are, um, uh, there are well, there are obviously four stories. <laughs> the most important is the uh, raid on the UPP armory, and you know everyone is worried about that because that means a lot of advanced weaponry and armor are in the black market, and. Like the UPP is like the you know the police the news channels are all afraid that gang violence is going to rise steeply thanks to these new uh, weapons. Uh, all right. So the uh, next uh, next important story uh, in uh, you know in relation is the escape of La Cucaracha from the prison transport van, which you act also saw last night. So, you know, it's the same, like, the, you know, police are still searching for any leads on to track down the mad cockroach man with cannibalistic tendencies. People have been no notified to inform the police as soon as they see him and to run the other way. Okay. Um, that's kind of sad. It is very sad. It's incredibly sad. Okay. Um, the uh, third important news is the fact that there was an there was uh, two explosions. Uh, one in late evening. One in uh, evening last night uh, in the warehouse district, and there was another at late last night uh, at uh, the south side. Uh, the in a uh, in a uh, pizza restaurant. A restaurant. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> okay, that's all for. Mm -hmm. That yeah, that's all for. Yeah. Uh, regarding the mm -hmm. the gadgets from the UPP, I would have bought some from Mr. Kane before I left 
Last uh, night. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, uh, wait. You went to uh, Narnia, right? Uh, yes, Narnia. Sorry. Yeah. That's... After or maybe before I went. No, well, let's just say like you, you, you know, like you didn't go there last night, and you can go there right now. Yeah, that's like if or t today if you want to. Yeah. Uh yeah, I'll go there today in the morning. Uh, I need my all right bulletproof vest. All right, cool, cool, cool. You are there uh and you meet uh mr kane mr kane is right now very cold to you almost like you broke a deal with him or something i can't possibly imagine why would be why would he be suddenly cold to you right all right hey. okay so uh wh um what are, exactly are you asking to purchase uh a vest okay and that's it. And then maybe no. uh, a smoke bomb, a flashbang, a taser. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Totally. Uh, he does the mental calculations and gives you a price. Uh, if you buy all four, you will literally spend your entire savings. Ah, oh, fuck. Yep. <laughs> I'll just buy uh, the the vest and then can I have a pepper spray please okay yeah you you will totally get that and that's totally fine but you will strain your savings and you will need to get a job right now uh, like not right now but you will need to get a job very soon because you are going to run out of money by the next like during next week you are no longer going to be I, able to run, like, live on savings. No, I'm just gonna take the vest and a pepper spray. Okay, absolutely. You will still need to get a job next week, so we'll come to that when you get a job. <laughs> that would be fun to see. The CEO yes. doing menial labor, manual labor. No, I'm <laughs> much worried about my unluckiness. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can't wait until Alice writes some terrible pun. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, okay okay yeah absolutely all right so yeah you have a pepper spray and a, a body armor that's all okay cool <laughs> what do you do now i will contact my so-called friends and check what they're up to okay who are you contacting let's find out maybe uh, actually, I'm gonna contact. Gonna contact Didi. Okay. Do it. Uh, ring, ring. <laughs> Hello, Didi. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so adorable. I can't help it. Hello? Um, is are you okay? Is everything okay? Yeah, oh. I just uh, had a uh, uh, can I just, terrible like, night. Can I interrupt just for a second? Like, Didi, what did you do after leaving Gervasio's garage? And, you know, I figure that's maybe that's when she's catching me. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. I, I, absolutely. Totally. Yes. Totally. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Go. Um,. How is your phone line secure? Is everything, uh, I mean, oh. I have no reason to think my phone's being tapped, but just so you know. Um, you know what? I don't care more about that shit. They will catch me eventually. Who? Uh, I have a terrible night. Uh, oh, I guess. Okay. Well, um... Suffice to say, Detective Pareto uh, 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 wants one to question, talk to you. Uh, one question. I, I mean, uh, 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 and Didi does remember that last time <coughs> she saw Mina. Mina was surrendering to Pareto, but then she suddenly ran away. I just, just, just a reminder that that's what happened. So, in case Didi wants to ask why that, you know, that would be. A, Segway. Well, it, having the conversation with Detective Barreto, since Detective Barreto said she was in tight with 
because he he talked. He said he she was in tight with um, with uh, Black Mamba, mm -hmm. so I have to assume that that's why she ended up running away. And so now I I'm think, saying I, I think that's a very meta assumption. Sorry, I think that's a bit too meta. <laughs> Um, I mean, the, the detective told me that he wanted to talk to her. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm about to say, is that the detective wants to talk to her. I, I didn't find that to be meta. <laughs> That dude, what exactly that he told you? I mean, in which, which one, which, which scenes did he told you? <laughs> well, he said that you were a drug dealer under Black Mamba's wing. He told me your real name. I didn't tell him your real name, Fatima. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah he told me your real name which i actually knew but um yeah he wants to talk to you obviously he's been pursuing black mom but i i don't i don't know why you would still have loyalty to black mamba but i'm <coughs> doing my duty and trying to tell you that he wants to talk to you <sighs> Uh, you know what? Why don't we just meet up and uh, maybe talk about it? Or maybe not. Hopefully not. Oh, God. Okay. Um, where are you exactly? Wait. Where are we going to meet? Um. Well, do you want to go to Melting Pot? I I went to Gervasio's garage because I, admit I haven't been able to find Camara. Um, and I asked... Gervasio, and he said that maybe she went, or I'm sorry, maybe he went to go see his mom, who's a manager at the Melting Pot. All right, Chimera. I totally forgot about the dude. Okay. <laughs> melting Pot, then it is. Okay. <sighs> and then I'll, <laughs> I'll drop, I will drop the ball. I'm going my way to the melting pot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, absolutely, totally. Go your way to the melting pot. I am totally on board to see what happens there. So she will slide down. <sighs> melting pot. Time around, say, 10.30ish, I guess. Yeah. Seems about right. Sounds good. Both of you arrive. Which might mean they're already. Yeah, I, I arrive. Mm -hmm. Just just think, Janine. Maybe uh, Mina could work at the melting pot and make some money. <laughs> you want Mina to go around the melting pot without a freaking mask? You lost your mind? Who, me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really what think could putting a mask what on could DD would matter? What could possibly go wrong to have the person who has a hit on their head by the leading gang of the favela go around in one of the most <laughs> Busiest, one of the busiest restaurants in the favela. What could possibly go wrong, right? Uh, <laughs> and have you forgotten the fact that police want me? And also, I'm pretty sure oh, the Scorpion Gang knows I'm the one who asked for the hit, right? The, I, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Just to be clear. Oh, okay. What by one? Um, Scorpion Gang is that a thing? That's a it's uh, Arana Gang. <laughs> which is which oh, is a spider oh, gang. gang. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is, like we have a spider, we have a cobra, and we have the carjackers. I guess. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> the the oh, I totally forgot. Yeah. Okay. Everything so we just said. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. You're kind of like <laughs> you have a like 
you know, your head is very heavy from the medication. That's totally understandable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, you never know. I mean, you never know. You never. Okay. Um. So yeah. Um. Um. Uh, Mina. Uh. Like, they told you to meet at the melting pot. How are you going there? Like, you know, if you go there with just your face, that's probably gonna be trouble for you. You know, living wise. I I would. Go there with my mask on, as as red facts. I don't I don't care anymore. It just I had a terrible day okay, yesterday. Okay, absolutely, totally. I yes. feel terrible in the morning. Mm. I I probably haven't taken a bath. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I I don't think you've taken a bath. That's totally understandable. You, you, you pro your your bed head is probably visible around the mask, like it's all like squiggly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay. So yeah, Didi is there. Uh, Didi, you see Red Fox entering in the mask. Uh, people are kind of weirded out, but not really because they know, like you know, Red Fox like is not. Red Fox doesn't have a hit on her head, is, is, is all I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, sooner or later. Mm -hmm. Alright, um, why don't we... And I realize... We, we certainly don't want to cause trouble at the, um... You know, at the melting pot, so why don't we get our order to go? And then mm -hmm. we can go someplace maybe a little more secure. However, also is is um, the manager, uh, you know, the mother of Chimera here, or for that matter is uh, my neighbor here, who I can ask? Uh, your neighbor is here, yes. You can see uh, Araujo uh, waitressing. When she has a chance, I'll try to flag her down to ask her. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, to to totally, like, you know, uh, when, like, she sees you and she eventually comes around, hey, what do you have? We missed you last night. Um, can I have a please and, a, and a, a whole mug of really black coffee? Yeah, okay, um... And that's a takeout, I forgot. Okay, okay, uh, okay. And then, um, yeah, may I get a, um, uh, a turkey wrap? And, um, and some sun chips? Sure, alright, I'll be right back. And, uh, she goes off. If you wanted to ask her something about the manager, that like you can probably do so right now before she goes. Okay, and now uh, and I'll say yeah. Unfortunately, I was uh, I had to talk to the police last night, Is but um, I can tell right? you more about like, that she, later. She, oh, okay, okay. She stops. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, but um, does and my the player forgot the name but mm -hmm. the character will say uh soraya um, souza yeah i'll say kind of lowly does soraya souza um work here yeah she's one of the managers what, what what about her oh okay um could you could you give her my number so she could give me a call um just to touch base at some point um about uh what is this about you should probably ask like should probably ask what it's about I I, mm, I think she knows one of my friends and who we're trying to track down. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I I will I will let her know. I will give her your number. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, I'll I'll get you your orders. And uh, she goes off. So you have like you know uh, do, do you like wait until you get your orders to take away before like talking or do you talk now? Or, like it's up to you. Uh, we can make small talk, but let's not mm -hmm. have business talk just because we don't know whether or not people will be listening in. This place is always crowded. Yeah, yeah, like, 
कि यप यू नो दैट दिस इज कंसिडर्ड अ न्यूट्रल टेरिटरी सो देयर इज प्रोबेबली ऑलवेज अ बंच ऑफ गैंग मेंबर्स हियर बट दे लाइक दे कीप द पीस दे मेंटेन द पीस हियर Okay. So yeah, well, I'll just make small talk. I'm mm-hmm. saying, yeah, you, you, you look rough. Um, I it, let me let me get that, and I I pay the bill. Yeah, I actually don't have much money now. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need your help. Okay, with. With what, or is it something we should discuss later? Yeah, I need a job. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you're the only other person who knows my identity, and honestly, I'm out of my wits. I just. <sighs> okay, it was something I. never thought about but let me uh what what type of skills do you have you just <laughs> mean it just started laughing oh god i think you have a clue of what i do best right i think i have some ideas of what you do best but i'm trying to think of um legitimate type jobs uh, how, how about delivery i'm fine with that i'm just going to keep my mask on and deliver food you're Or going maybe. to be literally spiderman from spiderman 2 by sam raimi and except you're going to be in costume okay totally yes actually that's <laughs> I, i love yeah. that idea it's it's amazing Super food service. <laughs> Instead of Uber Eats, it's Super Eats. <laughs> you know what, though? I think she should be a waitress at the Melting Pot. She walks up to a table. Okay, you want a ham on rye? You want two eggs over easy with some hash browns on the side? And then walks away, and the people don't have to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah, you get your uh, food to go, and uh, you pay the bill, and yeah, you're off. so you can talk more scandalous things if you want to. i'm i'm making air quotes even though nobody can see them so okay uh yeah it was um yeah that detective really wants to talk to you he um he's he's a tough cook um but uh and i i I mean, you're you're my friend, though I am disappointed to find out your past. But I at least want to think that your past is in your past. I'm encouraged by the fact that you said you want to get a job because if you are still actively selling drugs to you know school children and stuff, I don't think you would need. I don't think you'd be looking for employment. Well, one of the reasons I'm wearing I'm wearing this mask is because I kind of like. Total tale everything about my past work. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone in the Aran Hagda wants me dead. So, in other words, they want. Um, it's not Red Fox they want dead. They want your other persona. Yes. Hopefully um that stays that way. And they want you dead just because you're a rival gang member or is it something that can get cleared up? I I they want me dead because I basically blew the whole operation down with me. Okay. And All right. So right now we know the police want to talk to you and I asked them but they said they don't have a warrant. So you're not they don't have any probable cause right now in order to arrest you, but they do want to talk to you. Um they want to talk to you to try to get the Black Mamba. 
Um, <laughs> I mean, do you have any loyalties still to Black Mamba, or can you talk to the police about Black Mamba? Oh, Dee Dee, do you have any idea who Black Mamba is? Oh, Annie, do I have any idea who Black Mamba is? Uh, well, as much as uh, Detective Barretto told you last night, not beyond that. So let, let me actually uh, read up on what I actually wrote because I forgot. Well, I think you said, said that Black Mamba is the next worst person below Gecko. Yeah, no, that was that was uh, that that was Mina. That that, that oh was, yeah, that was Mina. That okay. was Mina. Yeah, yeah, boy, I. I'm surrounding myself with drug dealers. I know, I? I know. Okay, okay. So, so previous, prior to last night, uh, Black Mamba, you've heard of Black Mamba as like a sort of boogeyman type urban legend among the hooligans, except like like some even think he doesn't exist. But better to explain to you that Black Mamba is a man who works in the shadows for almost 12 to 15 years. Uh, his influence and control is almost in every single illegal activity. In the favela, he has an insane information network, so much so that Barreto believes that it extends to city council. Um, Black Mamba is the one who taught and trained Mina Wolfgang to become the CEO of Wolfscans and then become a drug distributor, according to Barreto. So yeah, that's that's as much you know about Black Mamba. Currently. Okay, well, I know... You know, Mina, I know, or at least I hope, that you're not a drug dealer anymore. So, again, do you still have loyalty to Black Mamba? Well, let me get the point here, Didi. Black Mamba is like the FBI of the Hollywood, the CIA, the Chinese uh, secret agent of today's world nobody against him as of the moment but honestly who i'm pretty sure that guy is the incarnation of the devil himself I basically sold my soul to him or i kind of like pretty much uh on me the only reason i think I'm alive is he doesn't have a use of me as of the moment. So I'm not telling anyone there's worse thing than death when it comes to him. So he's Kaiser Saze from Usual Suspects. Yeah, who um. that is. Yes. Well, I, I mean, like, asking who is also a very funny answer because maybe, like, you know, Mina Wolfgang has no idea of that movie. So that would be, like, very in character, too. But, yeah, it's up to you. Well, um... But do you think you would get in trouble if you talked to the police detectives? Or do you think... Black Mamba would not want that, and you'd get in trouble with Black Mamba. The, that guy will kill anyone he wants. The, I, at this point, for my death to come, honestly, just honestly, I have so bad at this hero thing. I'm sure I will die someday. The only thing that I'm looking out for is my sister. And I'm sure, I'm sure he has a hold somewhere in his favela, there's neck, all right? It's either me or my sister die. Okay, so... Uh and in yeah. case like Janine uh, has forgotten like which is possible um, the player for the player to forget because you know you're kind of drugged up on cough medicine <laughs> you know medical drugs <laughs> okay <laughs> um, uh, you know you escaped from the police uh, you know yesterday and last session is because 
Black Mamba told you, implied to you, that there would be bad things coming to everyone involved, aka your sister. There was implication that bad things will happen to your and sister if you don't escape. So, uh, yeah. like, in case you, to be like, honest, you, you didn't remember. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I say to Didi that dude was gonna, you know, get out of that and basically called me as I am going down. Mm. Ooh, um, I, I think we're over our heads on this. Um, uh. I mean, I, <laughs> if you told me where Black Mamba is, I could try to go get them, but if they're surrounded by as powerful people as they probably are, I, even I might not be successful. I'm pretty sure uh, that dude is... All right, so we know Black Mama doesn't want you to talk to the police, and they're threatening your sister about it. We know the Aranha gang wants to kill you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I actually forgot one more thing. I, uh... What happened about... Right. Uh, Janine, you're getting cut off. I'm missing like every other word, so your sentences are very oh, okay. in incomplete for me. Let me let me see. You know what happened with Camira, right? Uh, being given the drugs and everything. Yeah, that's mm. the same thing that happened to me. You know, maybe I'm just gonna tell Camira this later. I'm... I think Gecko gave him the drug, so... Right? Yeah, well, the gang did. The Aranha gang did. It was basically some kind of my fault. Alright, so now... As long as we're trying to figure out a scorecard, the Irana gang wants you dead. The what about the other gang? Do they care about you or no? The Cobra gang? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they want me dead too. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Whoa. You have some baggage, don't you? <laughs> she just <laughs> Mina started laughing. I am the most Fucked up person you have ever met. But here's a question. <laughs> um, I mean, I kind of know, you know, one of your powers is telepathy. Um, can we change who you are? Can we change your name and change, you know, so people won't be able to Look for me, no Wolfgang. Anymore. I don't think that's possible. My powers doesn't extend that much. I'm not. I'm not Professor X. <laughs> oh, you so um, like as a kid, you so wished you were Professor X. Yes, that guy's cool, but that's just way or, too or, much, dude. You want? Or even look, like look at the bright bit side, you have better Emma Stone, but no, 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 sorry, Emma Frost, but no, 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 Mina Wolfgang. You feel yeah. no better, you can't turn into diamond. <laughs> no, that would have been cool, but no, sadly, no. No. Um, can you leave? Can you move somewhere else? <laughs> How? I don't have a passport. I just smuggle me out in the <laughs> the ocean if you can. Well, I mean, te technically, that... like, the reason, like, you know, in-character reason that um, 
uh, she's not leaving yeah. uh, is because like you want because to my sister. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I don't know if that's yeah. what you tell her, but just like just a reminder that that is why you're staying here. Like I, I did ask you like why aren't you leaving, and that was your response. So yeah, okay. And it it makes sense with the exception that, um, I mean, would people hurt? You know, mini me to uh, <laughs> to to find her. I guess. I guess they would. would. They definitely would. But by the same token, isn't she in danger any second that they don't know where you are anyway? Oh. <clears throat> uh, when I think that when the time comes, I would. Gladly to die. Maybe it doesn't happen the next 50 years, hopefully. <laughs> Wait, um. well, 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 also, technically, like, um, uh, I don't know if Mina would like uh, tell, like, tell Didi, but uh, Mina is officially declared as disappeared. That's why her sister is safe for the moment ish. That, that's why nobody's mm -hmm. going after her at any second of the day. Okay, here's the deal. I can't leave the country because of my sister, but you don't have to worry about that because I basic. Well, she basically threw me away. She, she severed all ties from me, and I think she's missing from the system. And besides, the only thing I'm scared of why I can't leave this place is because of Black Mamba. So we know Black Mamba knows you're here, knows how to get a hold of you. Um, yes. The Arana gang, they don't know you're here or they suspect you're here. They've got a hit on you. I take it that's the situation? Mm hmm. I mean, I don't, I don't know what, I don't think it would work, but if you want me to go talk to the Arana gang, I will. <laughs> it just, it, Mina, me, I mean, I just face palm herself. Yeah, as Mina I, um, I, face palms herself, Didi gets a uh, text. <laughs> Dear Didi. We want to talk to you. Sign the Arana gang. No, nope. oh, well, that's convenient. <laughs> no, nope. it's it's, it's uh, Minami. She says, "Hey, uh, are you busy? Uh, do we uh, like I'd like to talk in the church if you can." Um. Oh, okay. Let me uh, let me figure out my schedule. I'll text you back in a couple minutes. Okay. She gives you a thumb, um, thumbs well, up e emoji. I, I tell Mina, I've, your sister just texted me that she wants to talk to me in the church. Oh, sure. Uh, go ahead. Um, I'm just gonna stay here. Are, are you gonna be okay? Do you have a place to stay? Are you safe as it is? Uh, yeah, I'm re relatively safe, but I'm out of funds. So uh, I need that. Need to find a job yeah. soon. All right. I'll Probably try to start. think on that. Um, and I'm, I'm sure I don't carry too much money on me, but I'm sure I carry something. You know, probably the equivalent of like fifty dollars or something. I'll give her what I have. Um, <laughs> maybe keeping, maybe keeping like five dollars in case I need to take a cab or something. But I'll, I'll give her what I have, and I'll say, well. Listen, I'm I'm gonna go meet your sister. Call me or text me if you need anything. We'll we'll try to figure out what we can do. But yeah, this is uh, this is quite a convoluted mess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'll probably you know text uh Zinc. Mm -hmm. I mean Zinc. We could hang out. Maybe I'll find Chimera somewhere in a trash bin or something. Okay. Um. Zinc. Uh. We'll 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 get back to you. Uh. Zinc. Uh. 
you are at the uh, you um, you are at the uh, UPP station. You are um, uh, coordinating the uh, investigation with the local police, uh, waiting on their forensic um, forensic team to send you the report. You have also sent forwarded them the uh, the uh, video footage you have. So you just got the uh, forensic report, and it appears. The, like the report is as what you pretty much expected that's like there is um there is the same um the uh, blast radius like you know the blast was ha happened at the uh, thingy the uh, flip door thingy that i l really don't know the name i keep saying flip door thingy but that's like really that's all that's how i call it because i don't know the name uh wh which was the epicenter and the blast expanded outwards. Um, it appears like, um, like it appears there was some sort of cylindrical origin of the blast that kind of expanded outwards, uh, vaguely about the size of a person. Um, there was no accelerant. It's as if the there was no fuel. Other like you know, other than the walls and the wood and the floor and the chairs and stuff, the windows, etc. Like they caused, they ca caught on fire based on the like heat of the explosion, and that's what continued the fire. Uh, the person who was killed um, in the you know the explosion blast, he was like he died from severe like you know. Like his like severe barn injury inside him, like like even like the entire his like 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 you know the like um nasal passage is down to his throat, down to his like you know orifice is that the the, the the medical terms that goes down your nose and down your throat, down to the pipe thing, the fleshy pipe things. Don't know what you call them. Because I'm not a medical person. Uh, yes. Fuel tubes. Yeah, yeah, tubes. Yes, those those things. They are also burnt on the inside, as if some sort of superheated, like heat entered their thingy in the body. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, man! Why? But okay, not not the latter. The <laughs> okay. So yeah. Okay. So yeah, there was some sort of a cylindrical, human-sized cylindrical thing that, like, it appears to be that what expanded in the explosive, con concussive blast of sort. Countertop though, thank you, thank you. I am, I, okay, yeah. All right, so yeah, that is basically the report, and um, yeah. There, even if there were any sort of like um, blood or anything like, like any other blood of any other person, like it's been scorched, the person's teeth did return a hit. Uh, it is a known local hooligan. I'm kind of unaffiliated. Uh, kind of works for you know whoever is hiring at the moment. The kind of like a freelancer, uh, thug of sort. Uh yeah. And yeah, 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 that's basically it. So they, their name is in the system and, you know, they have now been, uh, you know, like now the police knows, hey, this, there's one less bad guy on the streets. Yay, because s something or someone exploded and charred him to literally a burnt toast. Yeah, and that's basically when you get the text from Nina. Okay. What do you do? Well, first things first is I read the text from Mina. Mm -hmm. It's keep an eye on. Oh, shouldn't say that. 
Uh, Mina, what did One. you text him? I text where you up, man. Let's hang out. <laughs> Mina is losing it. <laughs> <It's amazing. laughs> Mina is losing Both it. Both of us, actually. Yep, she like, is losing it. Mina is contacting the police person to hang out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. She is so losing it. I love it. Oh, it's amazing. Okay, Zink, um, do you respond or do you just like you leave it on red and just like continue working on the investigation? Keep it under and continue working on the investigation. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, so yeah, I've given you the uh, details. Um, if you want to like uh like roll and assess to get some questions, you can totally do so. Yeah. See. See. Yeah. You can totally do the assess things. So what? Mm -hmm. Okay. That is a superior role. Yeah. Yep. Do, 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 do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you okay. did so well. Yeah. Yeah, you, you did so well. Um your superior is one. Um like you are ignoring Mina as she sent you. So if you would like, you can actually turn that into a uh, team like the team mechanic and basically like your like using like spending team selfishly because you do have a lot of team and like putting Mina on scene and ignoring her totally counts as ignoring or insulting your teammates. So if you want to do that to raise that to a seven, that's totally you can you can do so. Can I throw something else out too? Yeah, yeah. Um, it it was a while ago. Oh wait, because, wait, so what? I can understand if the time transpired, but when he made the assess roll. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that give him a plus one forward in things involving that investigation? Oh, yeah. And also another thing. That's actually a four and two. And you actually have one superior. So that's actually a seven. Okay. And, and yeah. You don't need to spend a team. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You don't need to spend a team. That's, that's totally fine. That is a seven. And not to mention, um, you, uh, you also have that plus one from before that I forgot because, it, you know, I don't. Like I, I forget. It's, it's kind of yeah. So yeah. So that's actually goes up to an eight. So yeah, that's that's cool. You don't have to spend time selfishly. You can totally ask me a question, and you can like you can just ask me a question of your choice. I think like you're investigating. This is totally like I'm like a slightly different role. So yeah, you can totally ask me a question of your choice if you want to. Well, what did Mina, or, yeah, Mina want? Well, um, you're, huh? you're rolling regarding the investigation because you're ignoring oh, Mina, sorry. so, so it's, it's kind of the investigation thing. It's, <laughs> it's kind of the investigation role. <sighs> Maybe he thinks Mina's connected to the crime? <laughs> no. Hold on. Like, yeah, I, like, I, I've given you the information that you have, like, the forensic and the, um, the footage you have, the information from the, you know, um, you know, that you have coalesced that I just gave you, so, yeah. Like, if you want any further details on anything, you can ask me a question. It's like, yeah. What? Ow, my leg is scratching furiously. Well, I, can, I don't know if this would be a good one, but what is the biggest threat? No, I, I just said uh, you, you can choose. Like you can literally ask me any question of your choice. You don't have to choose from the list if you don't want to. Like if they don't fit, that's totally fine. Just come up with a question and ask me regarding your investigation. That's totally fine. Okay, so we found out who's the guy that was trying to exit out of the building. Yeah, um, 
I like you. You already know that, though. Like it, it was a local hooligan who was, you know, who like was a hired thug, like a freelance thug for hire. Okay, so do you think that he was the one trying to make the explosion? Oh, okay. Do, do you think he was the one that caused the explosion? Um. Yeah. Okay. All right. That that's actually an important question. All right. Yeah. Totally. Okay. So, um, based on the posture and like you you determine based on the uh, posture of the guy and like how he was found because you have like you have the uh, report from the local police department which shows you how they found the original body like pictures of the crime scene uh, pictures of the scene so like he looks like he was trying to run away like he was reaching for the door like he didn't reach it in time but yeah <laughs> So it's probably he's not the one that caused the explosion, but rather he was trying to escape from the explosion. You also know that he's like he doesn't work at the Falcao Pizzeria, and the pizzeria was closed because you saw like you know it like you know it closed, like you, you know you know it clo it was closed when it exploded. So he wasn't inside like. He's not a worker there, so he's not supposed to be in there when the restaurant is closed. So, yeah. That's, yeah. So, what you're thinking is that probably, like, I don't know what you're thinking. So, basically, he's not supposed to be in there, and he was in there. And he was trying to escape from whatever that exploded. Which has no fuel, no accelerant. Just some sort of heat explosion. I like Janine's random So yeah, uh, that's your question. Oh, uh, did did something happen, Ellis? I did not notice something happened. Yeah, my computer glitched. I had dropped for about a minute, but oh, I'm back, okay. and oh, you didn't even notice, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, I, I had Discord like minimized, so I was like looking at other things. So. All right, so yeah, Zing. So this is the information that you have gleaned. Um, okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. uh, um, you actually uh, do have a uh, report from the uh, like as you are thinking about it, pondering. Uh, you get an update from the uh, local PD, who are diligently providing updates to UPP, <laughs> hoping that you would eventually like respond in kind. <laughs> but that hap that hasn't happened yet. So they just it's totally a one way communication for the moment. Um. Uh, so they like send a like a testimony of the family, the uh, Falcao family who owns the pizzeria. They have been informed, they had been informed, and their testimony has been gotten. And, like, the testimony is that uh, they had an employee to close up shop last night. Um, and, like, she's nowhere to be found. Her name is Yolanda, and um, she's nowhere to be found. She was supposed to close up the shop. She's an employee. She works the counter at the pizzeria. Uh, there are other employees, but she was there last to close up, and she's like, she's not reporting in. She's not answering her phone. That her phone is switched off. Like, yeah. Hmm. 
them eyeballs. <laughs> Or mm -hmm. I could ask them if they know where she lives. Uh, uh, they do. Uh, okay, hold on a second. Um, all right. Uh, are you asking? Uh, who are you asking? Um, down. Where, where, where did I write that down? Where, where did I? I know I wrote this down somewhere. Okay, I found it. Then, yes, go on. Yes, sorry. Ask the um the original cops if they knew where she lived and try to go find, go over there and find her. Are Are you like uh, calling them? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. This is uh, Detective Alejandro. Yes, I have a question for you. Oh, it's you again. What, what, what do you want? <laughs> I, I, I've been sending all the updates. Well, I found out who was working there to close the shop, but I, we can't find her. Yeah, the Yolanda, uh, Yolanda girl. Um, I sent uh, people to her address, but it Turns out that's not her address. She doesn't live there. Okay. Um. So I don't know. Either she lied to the Falcows or the Falcows are protecting her. I don't I I don't know yet. You said her phone was off, so can't call her. Yeah, phone's off. We we tried calling. We tried putting a trace, but nothing. Well, just let me know if you fi find anything about where she is or anything, mm -hmm. so we can talk to her. Okay. Like that's what I've been doing this entire time, providing updates. I'm not getting any in return, but... Okay, thank you. Thank you. Right, uh, what do you do? Well, I guess I read the text from Nina mm -hmm. and see what she wanted finally. Which... Well, Mina said she wants to hang out with you. And where you at? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell her that I'm at police call the UPP station, but I can hang out afterwards. When I'm done looking at stuff from the explosion last night. Mina, you get reply text back from Zinc after like um, 10, 15 minutes. Finally, after <laughs> finishing my hot yep. coffee. Yep, <laughs> you, you finally finished your gigantic okay. mug of coffee while sitting on top of a roof again. Like last time with the taco, <laughs> except it's coffee this time. And yes. you get a reply and text. Donuts. Yeah. I say, oh, UPP, you say. Oh. Uh, um, any place, uh, any other place besides UPP? Question, question mark. <laughs> well, you can pick a place and I'll meet you there. Uh, I return. I don't know where. <laughs> Smiley face. <laughs> um, 
I'm gonna text him again. I'm at melting pot. Like, are you? Have you eaten yet? Question mark. Why are you asking <laughs> me if I'm eating yet? I don't eat. <laughs> Working well, I'm just curious. Uh, I mean, you you gotta have to eat, right? Question mark. <laughs> no. All I oh. do is. All uh, I do is get recharged. Uh, we not apply. Okay, that's weird. How do you replenish your nutrients on your zombified body? But oh well, uh, where where do you want to eat? How about the park? Sure. See you there in 10 minutes. Yes. With a couple of hearts, hearts, and kisses, kisses. XO, XO. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mina is losing it so much. <laughs> I just had a black coffee. Yep. With. Uh, <clears throat> All right, we will. Um, you, you will go to the park. The park. There is a park. Like he said, the park. And as it so happens, us unconscious favela does have. It does have one singular location that is called the park <laughs> it, is, it is way down near the south east like around here -ish. it's like totally in the richest part of the favela and yes there is a park it's a very bad park but it exists <laughs> but it exists all right. Oh, um, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. We will have like, yes, we will have that scene now actually. So yeah, you're going to go there and we're going to, um, so, uh, Mina, no, sorry, Didi. Uh, so, Sir. Uh, yes. We, um, like you'd got the text from Minami. Uh, what are you doing? I head to the church to, uh, well, I, I text, mm -hmm. I text Minami. I, I say on my way, be there in, you know, however long it'll take me to get there. I uh, move pretty quick. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, she says, good. Uh, get back in the, um, uh, get back in the, uh, surgery room. You know the one. Okay, that's not reassuring, but okay. I'll boogie up there. Mm -hmm. And as you enter the church, I mean, the, uh, sermon is finished. Like, the second mass sermon has finished. Like about 15 minutes ago, I imagine uh, Chimera is still there because he was kind of waiting for like the other people to go before he was going to head out, uh, which is when yes. Didi, Didi enters the church. I'll head to the surgery room. You you come like you see Chimera in the church, like like you know. In the church. Uh, As I'll run over to her and hug him and say, you're okay. Hug her back. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm dealing with things that need to be dealt with, but I'm fine. Oh, speaking of things that need to be dealt with, um... Uh, sometime when you get a chance, could you, uh, talk to this detective and I'll, I'll send him the phone number. He, uh, kind of, sort of thinks maybe you caused the blackout. But if you talk to him, didn't you tell him that you did? Yeah, he didn't believe me. Wonderful. <laughs> but again, if there's if there's any retribution, I'll I'll take the blame for it. But yeah, um, but it, it's it's good to see you, and uh, yeah, I'm 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 glad you're okay. Good to see you too. Sorry, okay. I've been missing so long. Oh no, I, I, and 
Actually, did anything visually change with Chimera with the additional injection of no. probably my blood? Nope. Nope. Like, they, 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 he still looks the same. Like, his, his new power is basically like, um, you know. Super speed and an armor. Yeah. Like, so that that's actually like part of like his ability with the wolf power. So he can just shift into like speedy form and armor form and then like, then like it works better. Like way better than before, but like I could you know, be a speedy elephant now. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, totally. You can do that now. But yeah, like nice. there's, there's nothing visually different. Oh, um, and I'm, I'm here to see, uh, Minima. Um, Minami, but yeah, Minimi. Uh, <laughs> would you? I, I need to catch up with you, um, but let me let me go make sure everything's okay with her real oh, quick. If that's oh, okay. Okay. At this point, as okay, you're talking, um, Minami comes out the the back room. Oh, good, Didi. You um, uh, hello. Hello. Uh, yeah. yeah th this uh, I'll introduce them. Uh, hi. You're you're the the Mappinguari guy, right? I guess I'm not really a up and gory, but sure. Wait, you you you're not? I'm as human as can be. Ah, uh, uh, dang it! Now, now I owe like one of your t uh, one of your uh, classmates. Oh, now I owe him uh, t uh, ten reels. Ugh. Why do I have to bet on paranormal uh, ar urban legends? Why? Why? Why would I? <sighs> okay. Um. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Hi. Um. Didi. Um. Th there's kind of a situation. Um. You. You. Um. Mappy. Ma ma what's your name? Then. Cam you can call me Chimera. Okay. Uh. Chimera. You. You can come if you want to. I. I guess. Um. I. I don't know if you want to. Oh, come on. Okay, let's go see what she wants. Okay, and... <laughs> yes, 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 that is, yes, that, okay, that is, like, meta canon now, that, yes, the dub always gets the name wrong, and the English dub fanboys are very angry that the name is not consistent. <laughs> Because the uh like the cast and credit section that always writes the correct spelling, but people get the name pronunciation wrong, so it's like yeah. Okay, anyway. Um uh okay, so as you go into the like uh room inside, there's a uh wait a second, let me get the uh where where where, where is that? Uh there is a um I. Uh, there is a uh, girl who is um, about uh, Mina's age, maybe like a little older, like um, 19 or 20-ish. And she is looking very distraught. Uh, she has barn marks all over her hands. <coughs> and uh, one of the striking features is that she has heterochromia. So one of her eyes is... Um, like um, you know, uh, yellow. The other is uh, blue. I will get the picture out later. I just like like I I yeah. So the, I I haven't I haven't like I I know the picture. I just need to find it and and post it. So like yeah. Uh she's she's. You're legal. What are you talking about? Yes, she's legal. What? I just told you she's like 19 or 20. <laughs> Mina is 18. Come on. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, yeah. Um, um. She is distraught and she is like, she is weeping and Father Ed is trying to like console her. Hi, hi. I'm, I'm, I'm Deirdre Roberts. 
Um, she looks at you. Um, is... She also looks at um, Chimera, and she's like, she's kind of surprised at seeing Chimera, but not quite as much. But it doesn't help to stop her weeping at all. What? What can we do for you? What um, are you? We'll we'll get something for your burns here. What what's going on? What what can we help you with? Okay, Minami says um, so I just I woke up earlier in the like other room, you know where I live in the back. Um, at her, at her crying. Um, um, apparently she arrived like like when I called you. So like about half an hour earlier, and like she has been. She's inconsolable. It's she keeps saying she did like she she did something horrible and and she's going to hell and she's basically crying since about that con- like since then the entire time. And at this mention, she just like starts breaking down again. And this time, like telling. Oh, Father, what have I done? What, what I, I, I did I didn't mean I didn't mean to, but but I it just have I, I, I tried my best and just like she's just babbling basically. Not really providing any actual information, just babbling. And bawling. Hey, just 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 <laughs> calm down. Um honestly, uh father, I think we might want to get her a sedative just so she can calm down to get over the initial trauma, whatever's going on. Yeah, that, that's the weird part, Didi. I just gave her a sedative before Minami woke up. It did nothing. <sighs> um, hey, hey, just, you know, I'll... I'll sit down next to the girl. I'll say, look, um, just talk to us. And honestly, I'm going to look at Kamara because Kamara is going to be a lot. I think Kamara is better at comfort support than me, especially <laughs> since I've got angry. I've got angry Mark right now. So, <laughs> um, I, I, okay, I'm, like- I'm not great at this. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm not great at this. Uh, but you tell us what's going on. We'll, We'll help you out however we can. Okay, so what does uh, Chimera do at this? Sits down to the other side, starts patting her on the back, rubbing her back. Mm-hmm. Okay. So... Let and Didi talk. Okay. Uh, Didi, since you're the one who's talking, you get to roll comfort or support. <laughs> I mean, you're the one who's talking, right? Right? It totally God, makes sense. Kind of. Prompt Chimera to talk. Yeah, but Chimera didn't <laughs> talk, so you, you you're dealing with it then. <laughs> I mean, it's only a negative three. It, you can't roll too badly. <laughs> I I lie completely. I lie. I'm lying to my teeth. Yeah, basically what we expect. <laughs> All right. Listen, uh, whatever whatever it is, I'm sure yeah. it's Mark not potential, worse please, than and, and, uh, stuff I've done. We, we will... Uh, <laughs> nope, nope, not even team will help when you roll up four. All right. <laughs> so let's see. Um, let's actually, let me look at my GM moves and see what horrible things I, I can enact upon you. <clears throat> what horrible things can I enact upon you? Uh, sh- uh, well, why don't you why don't you have me eat a condition because I'm feeling guilty that I can't do anything about this? I mean, if you want a condition, you can take that at any time. Any time you well, want. Well, I mean, no, you, well, but don't lay something on top of that. But it does seem to be an appropriate response to what's going on. I'm, I'm trying to comfort her and I'm doing a horrible job. So now I feel guilty. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I'm trying to figure out, like, sure, I mean, that makes sense, but I don't think that's the move that's going to happen. So, like, if you want to mark guilty, that's, like, totally a different thing, but I think I want to do something else. 
why don't you do something to me and maybe that'll cause me to mark guilty. Okay, totally. All right, uh, let me, let me, uh, freaking figure out, um, uh, okay, um, as you, uh, say that, um, as you, like, try, you realize it's not, like, like, it's not really, like, you're not really reaching her, and, like, um, are you, like, touching her or something? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I'm trying to pat her on the back. and We're both touching her. Okay, cool. Um, both of you feel your hands are getting very, very warm. Where are you touching her? I'll... I'll tell Kamara and Minima... <laughs> Minima... Minima. Uh, many, uh, anyway, I'll tell tell everyone else to back off. Okay, back get, off. Get back. Um, get, get in front of me and wh- wh- shift it more. You know. uh, wh- wh- why? What's going on? Me, me, me asked. She is back, backing away, but she's asking you. Uh, Father Ed is also looking at you uh, with questioning eyes. Just, just in case, back, back up a little bit. Um, I listen. I. <laughs> Did, ah, funny, funny story. But I, again, I'm Deirdre Roberts. I, uh, I, I thrown a car before. I'm trying to distract her, get her mind off of it. Uh, I, you know what? Let's. Uh, Kimera, what let are someone you else doing? Roll. What are you doing? Like I said, I'm shifting into a little bit more a turtle, getting in front of Minami to try to defend her. Okay, okay, to- totally. Um. Uh, she continues so if D- getting... If Diddy's saying back off, then yeah, something's she, coming. Yeah, she continues getting, like... Um, oh, uh, you want to pierce the mask? I'm saying Chimera should. Okay. Okay, I'll try pierce, piercing the mask. Okay, how are you doing that? Looking closely at the... Scrutinizing the girl is... Dee's talking to her. Mm-hmm. All right. Trying to figure out. Yep. Trying yep. to figure out what uh Dee Dee's seeing. Absolutely. Totally. Absolutely. Definitely. Uh okay. Uh roll me that Pierce, which is a mundane. You do not have angry. Oh my gosh. You do have negative two mundane though. <laughs> and he's, he's better than I am. Yeah. Yeah. Only because he doesn't have. Oh my god. Wow, um, <laughs> wow, um, wow, okay, I, okay, um, yeah, yeah, uh, ooh, oh, not, now I get to do horrible things, like, when there's two fails, now the horribleness happens. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you're, like, you're morphed into your turtle shape form, right? Right. And she sees you in your turtle shape form. And, like, as you shape, like, change your shape. And she's freaked out. She just, like, leaps back from the bed, like, falls behind it. And she starts glowing. Her eyes start like kind of glowing. It's not I like start trying uh, to ru- it's not Captain Marvel glowing. The... It's kind of like um heat glowing. I start yeah, trying to rush the priest and the and Minimi out the door. Okay, absolutely. Um, uh, what's what's the closest exit? Oh, it's the way yeah, you the came in. Uh, Kimer- uh, Minami is next to it. Uh, Father, it is on the other side. Of the room? Okay, I'm gonna... Actually, I'm gonna yell them stay clear. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna say, look, no one's gonna hurt you, but you and I are going to go someplace a little safer, okay? So I'm going to carry you out. I'm not attacking you. And I'm gonna grab her and start booking it towards the 
close to the safe place, okay, which might okay. be which as, might be the ocean. As you grab <laughs> her, um, as you grab her, uh, ooh, um, mm, uh, you can mark guilty now because um, her body is burning like like a fever, except like it's really. Like your hands start, you know, getting blisters. Yeah, yeah. I and I'm <laughs> gonna start to bounce out of here. Um, With let's her, get you someplace safe. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna like carry she, her. She's going into hysterics right now. What, what, like, what, 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 what do you do? And she's getting hotter and hotter and hotter. You, you, you realize I, I, you're going to drop her eventually. Okay, what do you do? Yeah. I, I'm trying to, th you know, from what I know of the area, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of the safest, closest place to get her to. Maybe like a lake or something like that. There is or... no lake in Siddharth Halcyon. There is no river in Siddharth Halcyon. The closest body of water is the ocean, which is like... Eight ten kilometers away. They eight kilometers away. All right. South. So that method isn't going to work. Mm -hmm. I'm going to shove the other guys out of the room and shut the door and try oh. to talk her down. Okay. Um. Okay. That's definitely going to um be a freak roll because you are unleashing your powers. So yay! Give me that freak. That freak. <laughs> oh hey wait do you have two on the freak i thought you had one i have a one freak plus i also have the um when it uh the oh, one that oh, the angry when thing. i'm angry i, I get a plus one yeah yeah, yeah I, I, absolutely totally yes yes oh yes oh yes okay um you just quickly grab father ed kind of throw him at chimera chimera grabs him and pushes him and uh uh minami out of the room Ah, uh, okay. There, there is nobody else in the room right now. Uh, except you and crazy hot girl who is physically hot. Like, you know, temperamentally. Like, wait, 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 regarding temperature. What do you do? Um, can, can, wait, you, uh, wait, my, um, Discord died. One sec. That is bizarre because like that that, that is so bizarre. Did, did, did my internet go? Second, is, is 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 my internet gone? I can't tell. I cannot tell if my internet is gone or not. Um, I um. No, my internet is still here. That's that is so bizarre. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to put it on a cliffhanger because um. Wow, this is sad. Did, did Discord just completely died on me? I um I have internet. I, um, all right, I, I even rebooted Discord. That's like, uh, wow. I do not know what's going on. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's, okay. All right. All right then. Um, I guess I guess we um call off this session then. Um, all right. All right. Okay. Um. Um. Sorry. Guys, YouTube, um, this ended in a very, very weird, awkward position. It is a good cliffhanger, but 
Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Um. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we're we that's it. I don't know what happened. I'm going to go uh, try to um uh, figure out um what's going on with Discord because Discord apparently completely and utterly died on me. So, yeah, I probably have to reboot the computer. That's great. It's it's fantastic. Um, thank you for tuning in. Uh, this was an interesting session. Um. Sorry, it ended on a friggin' weirdness. Um, so I will catch you back again on the next video. Um, on the next session. Uh, same time, same channel. On masks, web of intrigue. Bye now.